Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about all of my favorite skincare products. Now, I have been asked by you guys for a skincare routine video for a very, very long time, but I just can't. <laughs> my routine changes so much because I do, at this point in my life, have several different skin concerns and I just mix it up like literally from night to night and day to day just based on what my skin needs. So I figured I'm just gonna tell you guys all about my favorite products and why and when I use each one. So I have oily skin, I have acne prone skin, and I also have aging skin. I mean, I'm starting the kind of aging process now that I'm in my late 20s. I also have sensitive skin. I actually this morning like woke up with like a swollen rash between my eyebrows and like onto my eyelids. You may or may not be able to see it. It's it's calmed down quite a lot now. And I have textured skin. I always have like little bumps everywhere. Yeah, because of that, that's why I have so many different products. So instead of grouping everything by like product, like masks and moisturizers, I decided to group them into like skin concern buckets. So I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I like from my acne concerns, everything I like for my anti-aging concerns, etc. So the first thing is the only thing in its category. This is my makeup remover and this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is the best makeup removing balm that I've ever tried. It is, as you would expect, literally just like a balm and it does not feel oily on my skin. I've used some of this type of product that leaves like an oily film on my skin that no matter how many times I rinse my face, it just still feels greasy and this one does not. It takes off all my makeup. It's super, super quick. My favorite way to use it is uh, right before I get into the shower. So I shower at night, put it all over my face and then hop in the shower and rinse it all off. And it's the only thing that I use. So my next category is for dryness. So I do have oily skin. So things like moisturizers I use, but it's not because I really, really need to. So I actually only have a couple things here um, for specifically moisture. And one is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is great if you do have like a more combo or oily skin type and you don't like such a thick moisturizer on your face. So I really like this one because it sinks right in and it makes your skin feel really soft and hydrated without, you know, the grease, the tack. The next one is the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer. This is also kind of a gel-like texture, which again is great for if you don't love that super thick moisturizer on your skin. This sinks in like immediately. It makes it feel super plumped and hydrated and just really, really fresh. So I love that. Um, and I do have a couple other moisturizers that I put in other categories, so we'll get there. Okay, so now we're moving on to my oil control category. I didn't include primers because I just feel like they are more of a makeup product. So this is a moisturizer, but I use this specifically for oil control and that's why I didn't put it in my hydrating category that I just talked about. This is the Body Shop Seaweed Oil Control Gel Cream. Again, a gel, which is great for if you have a more combo oily skin type. It's just, it's so lightweight and when it dries, like it feels oil controlling. Like I really, really appreciate that kind of tighter feeling. I mean, it works and it's not a million dollars. I also love this La Roche-Posay Zero Zinc. And this is like a oil controlling mist. This is really marketed towards like an alternative for blotting sheets. I don't really think this is an alternative for blotting sheets, but I do love putting this on my bare skin before I put my makeup on. Absorbs any excess oil on the surface and I feel like it does make my makeup last longer. And the last thing in my skincare oil control category is this Mario Badescu Silver Powder. This is such an odd product. I've never heard anyone talk about it before, but it is literally, if you can see that, it is literally like a powder. So basically how you use this is you take a wet like cotton round or like cotton ball and you dip it into the powder it kind of turns immediately to a paste on the thing that you're using and you just like spread it over your t-zone just leave it on for like 10 minutes it'll kind of like dry and start to crumble off a little bit but that's okay 
um, and then you just rinse it off and it literally makes you feel like so smooth it makes your pores like literally shrink immediately if you have like big pores on your nose um, that always make you look like you have blackheads you need to try this but it's really 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 amazing at controlling oil and shrinking those pores my next category is the stuff that i use for my acne my pimples this is a moisturizer this is the clean and clear essentials dual action moisturizer so this is basically just a plain moisturizer with salicylic acid in it it's just nice to have like that extra backup during the day i mean it feels really nice and cooling and it doesn't dry my skin out and you just get that extra benefit of having some kind of acne medication on your face under your makeup. Another clean and clear product is this deep cleaning astrogen. So I actually just bought a new one of this and I've been using this for years, like probably like almost 10 years maybe. All you do is squeeze a little bit out onto like a cotton round and apply it to your face. So if my skin is feeling really pimply, I'll use this morning and night, but usually I just use this at night after I take my makeup off, but before I put on something that I'm gonna sleep in. I really like this Sand and Sky Brilliant Skin uh, Pink Clay Detoxifying Mask. This is actually all gone, I've used the whole thing. It just makes my face look clearer, like pretty much immediately after I use it. So. This, I think you can only buy online. I think it's kind of like one of those Instagram brands, but this is really good. Another acne mask that I use is the Dr. Dennis Gross Clarifying Colloidal Sulfur Mask. And this is like a dual purpose. So you can use this as a mask that you're gonna rinse off after, you know, 15 minutes, or you can put this on your trouble spots and sleep in it. And what I like about this is that I find it more gentle than like your typical benzoyl peroxide or your salicylic acid like treatments where those really dry out my skin this does not like at all and it really does shrink my pimples overnight so a couple more things that i specifically sleep in when my skin is really breaking out this is the nip and fab glycolic fix overnight purifying gel this kind of has two purposes i couldn't really decide what category to go in but I put it in the acne one because that is really what it's for. It just, it has some salicylic acid in it, but also has glycolic acid. So it's really good for like resurfacing your skin, but also treating a more acne prone skin type. This is one of the only products that really helps my like bumpy skin texture. Like if I put this on like kind of my lower cheek area, when I wake up, my skin is significantly smoother. Such a good find, especially if you do find that you have that more like bumpy skin or like pimples sitting right under the skin like this is so 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 good and another similar product this is the peter thomas roth aha bha acne clearing gel this is also kind of like a really good like resurfacing kind of type of thing but it also has this like acid in it so it's good for acne prone skin as well this is very very calming but i find that if i use it too many times in a row my skin stops like reacting to it so I don't use this every night I use it probably once or twice a week just so I can get like the biggest benefit of it but it really does calm my skin overnight and make my breakouts look a lot better and the last thing in my acne category is this body shop tea tree anti-perfection night mask so this is a really interesting texture like it's like a runny gel. So this is something that I use just like as an all over sleeping mask to prevent breakouts. I think this is a really good gentle but effective product. Okay, my next category is my kind of like texture issue category. This is the Body Shop Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. So this is like an exfoliating product and I freaking love this. All you do is take a pump of this on dry skin and rub it around your face and it just like picks up any like dead skin that's just sitting on the surface and just like literally rubs it away. Like it's such an interesting feeling because you can feel the product falling up, but you can also feel like skin like falling off onto your face. It's very strange, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't tingle. Um, but it just makes my skin feel really, really soft and smooth afterwards. And I just, I love the actual process. <laughs> Sorry, I literally just fished this out of my shower and it's still very wet. Oh Lord. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hold this up with <laughs> a tissue underneath of it because it's just dripping all over me. 
This is the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion. So this is like a very typical exfoliator, like it has the little beads in it, but I find this is very fine beads that works really, really well, especially if you have like obvious flaking all over your skin. This works really, really well. I've been using this for like five or six years now. I just really like the Body Shop. Like I'm kind of noticing I have quite a few Body Shop products here. And the last product in my like texture issue category is this Pixi Glow Peel Pads with 20% glycolic acid and rose water. So these are like little pads that are soaked inside of here and you just rub it all over your skin. You wait like three minutes. It kind of feels burning, but then you just rinse with cool water and your skin looks a lot brighter and nicer after you've used it a few times. It's just a really great cheaper option if you're kind of into the more chemical peel idea. My next category is kind of my anti-aging category. I'm gonna start out with eye creams and I really like this e.l.f. illuminating eye cream. This is a really lightweight gel texture and it never messes with my concealer application and it just feels nice and cooling and hydrating and it's so cheap. This is just a little mini sample of the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay. This is really, really nice. It's a little bit thicker, so I prefer to use this at night more than in the day, but it just, it smells great. And it just feels actually really, really hydrating under my eyes. I've got two serums that I really like. This is the Body Shop Drops of Youth Youth Concentrate. This is really nice if you like a serum that does not feel oily whatsoever. Like this literally feels like nothing on your skin. It immediately sinks in, like dries down and does not stay ugh, oily. And this is just kind of a little sample size, but I really like this Caudalie uh, Vino Perfect uh, Radiance Serum. This again sinks into the skin immediately and doesn't feel super like greasy or creamy. It just is a really nice good serum if you have a more oily skin type. This is something that I wear um, like all over my face as like a night cream. This is the Clinique Repair Wear Sculpting Night Cream. This is like also kind of like a gel cream type of texture, fairly lightweight. It does stay sticky on, on your skin. So I like to apply this at least an hour before I'm actually gonna go to bed. Otherwise like it'll just stick to my hair and my pillow and stuff. But every single time that I use this, I wake up and my skin does look younger. It's really meant for like contouring your skin as well. Like a lot of people use it on their neck and jawline. The very last thing I'm gonna talk about today, also in this anti-aging category, this is the Vichy Lift Active Retinol HA Concentrate. So this is a wrinkle filler type of thing. Um, I can't use this every day because it does irritate my skin. It really makes my skin peel kind of sore and red, which I mean, doesn't sound great, but as long as I apply moisturizer first as kind of a little bit of a barrier and then use this, I'm good to use this probably like twice a week. And I use it on my smile lines. And then I also have kind of a deeper crease right here. I just know that this whole retinol thing is good for expression lines, like really deep ones. So this is something that I will definitely continue to use. I think it's something that you don't really see effects for like right away. I think you have to use it like very, very consistently for a long time. Yeah, this is what I use. Okay guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please share below your favorite skincare product and what you use it for. I would love to try new things, especially if you have like a holy grail oil control skincare product that's not a primer, hit me up down below. Anyway guys, thank you so, so much for watching. You can always subscribe to my channel if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos from me and also follow me on Instagram, somegirljess, same as it is here. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.